Well, President Obama came into office and he got the majority of the House and the Senate. So it's enabled him to get this incredible agenda of health care, financial regulatory reform, a lot of stimulus money spending. But despite getting those measures passed, he's in a lot of trouble. His uh, favorability rankings are pretty low. And a lot of members of the House and Senate on the Democratic side are in trouble. For example, President Obama brought in 33 Democrats on the House side on his coattails. There's 31 of those who are still running for re-election, two are out of the picture. And a lot of those are considered to be in trouble. So if the Democrats lose the House and then lose some seats in the Senate, it would be very difficult for President Obama to get other parts of the agenda in through the next session. Well, the mood is very, very partisan. Of course, things are always difficult uh, when you have politics involved and you're trying to get both sides together. Obama got some of his agenda through because he had enough Democrats in the Senate, 60 out of 100, to overcome most Republican filibusters. You lose just a couple of Democrats, then it starts getting harder and harder. So the mood is very bitter. Republicans sense an opportunity to take back the House, perhaps take back the Senate. So at this point, not a lot more will get done. It's going to be a very difficult re-election. And historically, midterm elections are very difficult for the incumbent party in power in the White House. So a lot of analysts are predicting that Obama will have a lot of difficulty in the midterm elections, and we'll see what happens. Well, the Republicans say they're going to go after health care reform, which was passed um, in the last year. However, they don't have the votes really to repeal it, which some people have talked about doing. So they're trying to chip away again and again. They're going to talk certainly about the unemployment rate. Unemployment has been very, very stubborn in the United States. We've got a rate, I think the last reading was about 9.5%. So though the president's gotten some of his agenda passed and has gotten major measures passed and stimulus money passed, it hasn't made a big enough dent for a lot of people to realize that things will be getting better, at least from Obama's point of view. So they're, they're, that's the main issue. Despite whatever agenda he gets passed in Congress, the focus will still be on jobs, the employment rate, the economy. Um, and those are trending um, against the incumbent party because people haven't seen as enough progress that they'd like to see. Well, the president's popularity is pretty important to senators and House members who are running for election, but typically those races are local. So even if the president has a very low popularity rating, oftentimes people will say, well, my local person is a good person. I like him perhaps in spite of the president, in spite of certain policies. And also, a lot of uh, politicians who are local members, they'll have a different political outlook perhaps than the president. So someone who comes from a conservative state, even though he or she is a Democrat, might be much more conservative. So sometimes it's hard to translate that over. But if the incumbent party is seen as weak or ineffective, it can definitely hurt those people running for election. Right now, it's looking like Republicans will pick up a number of seats in the House and the Senate. If they pick up just a couple more seats in the Senate, they'll pretty much control things. Because in the United States, we have this rule that says if 60 members out of 100 in the Senate filibuster, you can basically bring things to a halt. And they've done that on some issues now. So if they win a few more, and it's expected to be more than a few more, it'd be very difficult for Democrats to get anything through unless they truly compromise uh, with the Republicans. Now, the decisive Republican has been a senator from Massachusetts named Scott Brown, who was just elected uh, to replace the late Senator Edward Kennedy. He has worked with Democrats on some issues and other issues that hasn't made a difference where he stood. But he's been sort of the swing vote. If they bring a few more in, it'd be very, very difficult for Democrats. Well, if the Democrats lose their majorities in the House or Senate or both, it will certainly be very difficult for Obama to get more legislation passed. He still has ambitious items on his agenda, for example, climate change, which did not happen this time around. Very difficult. You need a lot of cooperation. And of course, he's running for re-election. As soon as the midterms are over this November, then the next election campaign cycle really begins. You have Republicans starting to gear up. Some of them will probably announce as soon as January that they're running. Obama is not likely to face a difficult challenge if one at all on his own side, but you will have a lot of gearing up. So really right away, uh, just months away from now, you'll have the next uh, re-election campaign beginning. So he's, he's got to hope for some good fortune in the midterm with his own party so that he can do well uh, running for re-election.